what if we're given 360% and we have to go ahead and figure out what this percentage is as a fraction, right? So first things first is before, um, whenever we have a number greater than 300, uh, greater than 100, just go ahead and just convert to decimal first. So I would rewrite this procedure as percent to decimal, then to fraction. That D represents uh, decimal. Okay. So rewrite this as a decimal. 360 um, percent, percent meaning divided by 100. So well, we're going to rewrite this over as 3.6. So now that we don't need the percent sign anymore because we already divided by 100. And dividing by 100 is really the same thing as saying percent. Just replace it with the same thing, okay? So now that we got it as a decimal, right? We're going to go ahead and convert it into a fraction, right? So converting it into a fraction, just go ahead and pronounce this. How do we pronounce 3.6 in mathematical terms? It will be 3 and 6 tenths. Go ahead and rewrite that. It will be 3 and... 6 over 10, right? If we need this in simple form, just go ahead and rewrite 6 tenths as 6. By dividing by your greatest common factor in 6 and 10, that's 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So then the final answer is not 3 and 6 tenths, but 3 and 3 fifths. Notice how I leave it as 3 and 3 fifths and not 3 and 6 tenths because 6 tenths is not in simple form.